All right, so making sure you have the right equipment for the job or for your small business. All right, we're gonna talk a little bit about servers as quickly as I can. I had made a video about this a while back with Lewis, but it's like a 40 minute long video and not that many people are gonna sit down and watch us talk about this type of crap for 40 minutes. So I'm instead gonna break it into smaller segments um, and kind of make each point its own video, okay? So first of all, what is a server? For anybody that has no idea what I'm talking about, a server is, in com is a computer, any kind of computer that is used to perform services either to other computers or to serve your customers or to your employees. Okay, so for example, if you have a small business and you've got like 10 people, each person has a desk, each person has their own computer they're working on, the files that they are working on should never actually be installed directly on the computer that they're using. Instead, the right way to have your employees access these files is to install, for example, if you're using QuickBooks, if you're an accountant and you have your office and you have other junior accountants or whatever, QuickBooks should be installed on a main computer that would be serving your employees and your customers throughout the office. So you install the actual program itself on the system and all of the client data is on the main server, the main computer. And then when you have your employees come into work and they sit down at their desk and they get on their computer, even though they can open up the files and access them and make changes to them, it's not directly on their machine, but they are actually connected to the server and they are accessing those files from that server, okay? And the reason for that is because it's much more secure. Your, your information is gonna be safer, more secure. And server hardware, which is where the big confusion comes in, server hardware is designed to tolerate a great deal more than just a normal computer. So what am I talking about there? Well, a while back, actually not, not that long ago, it, it happens quite often where we'll get like we had, I use the accounting example a lot because I had quite a few customers that were working at, a, uh, you know, accounting offices and they came in with their IT guy and the IT guy insisted that all the accounting, own, all the owner had to do was buy a normal consumer based Dell that just had a normal i7 with 16 gigs of RAM and a terabyte hard drive, okay? And the accountant, he had his own website. He wanted the, the server to host the website. So meaning that when you connect to 123accounting.com, you're actually connecting to a website that is saved, stored on that actual computer, okay? Not by another company that's putting it up on the internet for you to access, okay? So the accountant wanted his own website on this server, he wanted to try and expand his office and offer a whole bunch of financial you know, counseling and this and that, he had a lot of great ideas, that was great. But the mistake is when you are thinking of doing something along those lines, when you wanna purchase a machine that's supposed to be running 24 seven, 365 days a year, and you are not supposed to be shutting these things down, you never want to buy a normal consumer grade machine. Even though these machines are powerful, are they capable of running QuickBooks? A thousand percent. Can they serve your employees? Yes. Can they serve your customers? Absolutely. But the hardware inside the machine is not meant to be run for that length of time all day every day without being shut down. So you get heat builds up. Over time, it might get dusty. There could be a million things that go on. The hardware in these consumer systems are not designed to tolerate that level of use. Especially if you have a website stored on your server, you are opening the floodgates up because the whole idea of having a website is for tons and tons of people from the outside world 
to find you. So if all of a sudden you have this one computer and several thousand people are trying to access your website at one time, the machine is going to crash and crap on itself. And it's then if it happens during work hours, then forget about it because then no one's going to be able to access anything either temporarily or if something goes wrong with the power supply, if something goes wrong with any component on the machine, you are going to be screwed. That's why for business purposes, you never want to buy a standard consumer grade system. You want to buy, even though, yes, it's going to be more expensive. Yes, you're going to have to spend more money. Okay. You want to buy a computer that actually has server grade hardware. Why? Because you have things like the RAM that is actually, it's called ECC or error correcting, which is meant to actually catch its own corrupt like failures in the memory and correct them so the machine won't blue screen and restart or lock up or freeze or whatever okay you have things like raid you have multiple hard drives multiple storage devices set up with the data is split on all the drives so all your clients information everything is you're doing is actually spread about on several different storage devices so if one of those storage devices goes bad, you don't have the machine won't stop working. You can still do everything. You don't have to turn the computer off. You don't have to restart the computer. All you would have to do is literally open the panel up, remove the storage device because it plugs it. They, they're special. They you pull them right out. Take the new storage device, slide it right in. And then Windows or whatever operating system you're using in a RAID setup, it will rebuild the data on the new drive without you having to do anything. So your employees can still keep working. Your customers can still you know, get what they need. Your business is still up and running. There are uh, power supplies. So a lot of servers will have multiple power supplies. So if one fails, if let's say you have a surge or something crazy happens, one of the power supplies goes bad, your machine is still running. It doesn't power off because there's still another working power supply. So at that point, again, you can just pull out the dead power supply and take the new one, slide it right in, plug it back in, and that's the end of story. Okay, The security you will find on, on the operating systems, even though you can install a Windows server operating system or Mac, whatever, you can install it on any piece of crap, you know, machine or whatever, uh, but on a server grade hardware, you already have all of that set up. Okay? And there's a lot of features that you get, a lot of safety, security, and a hell of a lot more reliability that you will find on a server grade hardware system than you would on a consumer based system. You'll, you're just setting yourself up for imminent failure, heartache, pain in the ass. Don't do it, okay? In business, just remember, you should never make decisions based on, well, the likelihood of that happening is it's, it's you know, it's not, not really a big chance of that happening. So let's just buy, let's just go the cheaper route. That is not how you operate or make decisions for your business. You need to be thinking, okay, the chances of these problems happening are very minimal, but if it does happen, we are prepared and there will be hardly much, much of nothing really at all to worry about. That is the mentality that you need to have. So if you have any questions about hardware or us building a server for you if you want us to come over and take a look at your business and assess how things are set up you know we offer two hours free we'll come in we'll see how you have everything set up what your security is how your employees are set up we'll give you it's two hours free just to assess your setup and we'll tell you what's good what's not good we'll give you advice even if you already have another IT person in mind or whatever we still, you know, you can trust us. We've been doing this for a while. We're not here. We're not trying to rip you off. You know, what, what matters is making sure that we have a good reputation, that we properly inform 
our customers, our clients with what is right because there's a lot of huge misconceptions out there in the world of technology, particularly in the small business area. All right, so any questions, just reach out to us. Thanks for watching. Have a nice evening.